uswaterrockets.com Water Rocket Construction Tutorial The Easy Method for Splicing Bottles Together To make large water rockets, you need to join multiple bottles together. We've looked at the complicated techniques currently available, refined them, eliminated unnecessary steps, and come up with the slip joint splice. Start with two identical bottles. You must cut the bottoms off both bottles along the mold line shown here. The easiest way to cut the bottoms off the bottles is to roughly cut them off slightly beyond the mold line and then go back and very carefully trim with your scissors along the mold line. Make sure that the edge of the cut is perfectly smooth. Next you want to fill a frying pan or a pot with about 3 quarters of an inch deep in water and heat it to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 70 degrees Celsius. Take one of your cut bottles and briefly dip it into the hot water so the heat will shrink it enough to fit inside the other bottle. You may have to repeat this step several times, but eventually the bottle will shrink enough so that it fits inside the other bottle very snugly. If the joint isn't very snug, then it may fail at a lower pressure than desired. The next step is to carefully sand the overlapping surfaces of the bottles where they join. Pay close attention to the seams of the bottles where the mold lines are because they can be difficult to sand. To be safe, sand just beyond the area where the bottles overlap. This is a critical step because the sanding roughens up the surface and allows the glue to adhere much better. Remember, sand the inside of the outer bottle and the outside of the inner bottle. When you're finished, clean up any residue, being careful not to get oil from your fingers onto the sanded area. Protect your work area with some newspaper and your hands with rubber gloves because we're going to be using PL Premium Construction Adhesive to glue our splice. It can be very messy if it gets where you don't want it. Apply the PL Premium sparingly to the sanded areas of both of your bottles. You only need enough to cover the sanded areas with a thin layer of PL Premium. Any excess will be squeezed inside the bottles where you can't get it and it will add weight to your rocket and it just looks ugly. Next, you're going to push your bottles together to form the splice. If you've shrunken your bottles correctly, it should be very difficult to push the bottles together. It'll require some force. When you're done, twist the bottles to make sure they're aligned properly. Now you can take a paper towel and scrape off the glue residue that's oozed out the joint. Clean up any excess with some mineral spirits. Now you can put the whole thing aside for 5 or 6 days to allow time for the glue to cure. To reinforce the splice when the bottles are expanding under pressure, we add a strip of duct tape around the joint, which also dresses it up quite nicely. If you intend to use very high pressures, a stronger material like fiberglass strapping tape can be used. Duct tape works very well unless you're really pushing the envelope. That's all there is to it. Your slip joint splice is now complete. Just repeat this procedure several more times and you can create a giant water rocket like the one shown here. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you may want to click on one of the links below for more information. You can see a web page version of this tutorial, the pressure testing conducted on bottles spliced using the technique developed for this tutorial, or a simple way to make water rocket parachutes. Thanks for watching.